Good morning and welcome to Zen Fits here in Blackstone, Virginia on this beautiful, well, it's Halloween. <laughs> Blackstone, Virginia. We uh, uh, just closed our house off and uh, put a chair out on the, on the uh, sidewalk and uh, turn off the lights. <laughs> bah humbug. Anyway, uh, not many kids come by our house anymore. Uh, I'm, I'm sure candy's expensive today now. Anyway, okay. Let's get on with our morning Zen Fit. And the title of this talk is, uh, There are no more maps. What are you going to do? No more maps. The maps don't work. I, I think we all uh, appreciate or understand that situation where this is the wrong map. This map isn't working. Uh, either either the map isn't updated, or it's the wrong map, or if you're on Navig GPS, you typed in the wrong state <laughs> or county. And uh, anyway, but uh, this, our culture today is in a historical situation where the maps that we've been using for the last 500 years don't work or have limita they work but they have limitations uh, there's no certainty in the maps and by map I mean a reality map I mean I mean they call it a mythology or a paradigm or a because uh, Joseph Campbell pointed out that, that uh, myths have four functions. The first one is cosmological. It gives us an orientation in the cosmos, which Newton did, Descartes, in the modern world, the age of reason, the age of, uh, uh, the age of enlightenment, quote, uh, was a reality map that was different from the map of the Middle Ages. That's all. A new map, and it worked great. You could explore, you could make stuff, cars, air conditioning, heat, everything. The map worked, but now there's, it's not working like it should. And so there's a, there's a uh, historical shift going on now that we're, that we, it's like an earthquake. Uh, so the first function of mythology is cosmological. The second is sociological. I don't know, in other words, it gives you an orientation in your society. Now we've got two maps there going. You know, you've got the, the map of the right and the map of the left. There are different ways to orientate in society. They're in conflict. And the, and the, fourth, and the third function of mythology is uh, or social psychological. Um, what 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 are the stages of your life? You know what 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 are your what what is your place in the world? How do you, so this is personal. And then the fourth one is mystical. Uh -huh. This is my favorite. The fourth stage, the fourth function of mythology is to awaken your sense of awe and wonder at existence. And our, and our mythology has failed there, too, because our world is flat. And it's just a bunch of, like, bumper cars. You know, you live in Blackstone. I don't, I don't, I have no sense of awe and wonder in Blackstone. You know, I've seen it. <laughs> you know, so we've seen everything. We know everything. You know, what's new, we say, what's new? Everything is old. Everything, we know it. I mean, we've done, oh, done that, done that, done that. Go, go, you know, go through the uh, channels uh, on your uh, satellite. No, 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 no. Flip through your, flip through the uh, uh, internet. Done that, done that, done that, done that. Sheldon Cooper, big man, would do that. They go to the comic book store, and they would look for a new comic that would give them awe and wonder, and they would have that, have that, have that, have that, have. That. <laughs> 
So the awe and wonder, you see, is given to us now by movies. That's why I love Avatar. Damn it, I forgot my thing again. Will you please remind me to put this on next time I talk? <laughs> I, I think you can hear me before I put it on, but it's better now. But anyway, we, 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 movies like um, Avatar, the whole purpose, function, and beauty of Avatar was that it created the sense, the, the feeling of awe and wonder when you saw Pandora. Remember when you saw the flying, floating mountains? Oh, we were seeing real, We were seeing our Earth through the eyes of Jake Sully for the first time. So it would be like waking up in your hometown or in your neighborhood and seeing it for the first time. Time. Oh, look, a dog. Oh, look, a tree. Oh, a fire hydrant. Oh, Cheerios. Oh, look, like a child. Like a child. So this is the kingdom of heaven, isn't it? Seeing where we are for the first time. But our maps are old now. We, we've walked all the streets before. Nothing surprises us. Everything is, oh, Expected that, you know, what else is new? So we've come to the end of our reality map now because we've lost the fourth function of mythology, which is to create the sense of awe and wonder. Like Bush tried to create it when he had shock and awe, when he bombed Baghdad. <laughs> we, we try to create this awesome when we shoot off a rocket to, the, to space. Or when we build a twin tower. Well, actually, when the twin towers came down, that was shocking all. That was awesome, but not in a good way. But anyway, uh, mass shooting. That's awesome, but in a bad way. But I mean, it's like this shouldn't happen. This shouldn't be happening. So the sense of this shouldn't be happening is basically is the mystical function of mythology. The awakening of eyes wide open, uh, like in Space Odyssey 2001, the astronaut's eyes are open. So we get this in movies, <gasps> Halloween, horror, shock and awe. Horror makes us feel that sense of awe and wonder. Of course, this is the awe and wonder of death, you know. So. When all the maps are gone, when all the maps are old and nothing's new, uh, death is the only surprise left. <laughs> Isn't that, I think that's kind of funny. <laughs> you know, the death is, death is the last surprise. <laughs> surprise, you're dead. Uh, anyway, but so I, but Halloween, so I'm just sort of riffing this a little bit. So Halloween, basically is is the part of the mystical function of mythology of shock and awe of horror kids love horror movies as you get older oh, I don't, oh, uh, yeah don't need it but kids love it you know horror uh, which is the fourth function of mythology to create the sense of awe and now uh, the sense of awe can be standing at the edge of the Grand Canyon, or it can be uh, a mass shooter. But either way, it opens the mind to the real. See, we our maps, we, we have mapped out the real. Newton, Descartes, all of, the, all of the reality maps of the Age of Enlightenment or Reason, you see, have mapped out the world into a conceptual framework. And these theories of the world keep changing, of course, but that's but that they're still within the same with the same framework that the world out there exists separate from you and you can map it and you can know it and you can remove all the surprises and make it safe. Make it certain. So that's the part you see, so the mystical function of mythology, the surprise, 
is also on the death of certainty. When you are surprised, it's because your certainty of what's real has been collapsed. My uncle was loved to do this. He would leave little surprises around the house, like uh, uh, um, fingernail polish, plastic fingernail polish, turned over on your coffee table. Oh no, the t oh, it's fake. <laughs> but for a moment, that was the mystical function. <gasps> See, that little oh, is the fourth function. Anyway, um, how did I want? what did I want to start this with? All the maps are gone, so I'm just kind of like working with the way our maps have gone. We, you know, you grow up in a hometown and you want to leave because, you know, you know where all the streets, you know where everybody, everybody knows you. There's no surprises. <laughs> There's no shock and awe. There's no wonder, you know, no wonder we leave home. <laughs> anyway, thanks for dropping in. Uh, have a happy Halloween. A Zen fit, by the way. The way I play with it is the fourth function of mythology. It's a surprise. An unexpected surprise. An unexpected surprise. Waking up is an unexpected surprise. Thanks for dropping in. <laughs>